Hello, this is Jack from tofluency.com and this is Ask Jack, the series where I answer your questions about learning English and the English language. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about pronunciation. And this question comes from a Tofluency program member. So take it away, Javier. Javier from Colombia asks, how do you pronounce regular verbs in the past tense? Thank you for this question, Javier. So, what we're talking about here is the pronunciation for the past tense regular verbs. Okay, those verbs that end in ed. And there are three ways that you can pronounce these verbs. And the way you pronounce them depends on the sound of the verb. So, let's have a look at the first way. We'll start with the id sound. Now, when we use this sound, we add an extra syllable. Here is an example. Ad becomes ad did. Ad becomes ad did. And we use this sound when the verb ends in a D or a T. So it's quite a simple one to remember. When the verb ends in a D or a T, we use this sound. He started learning English last year. So start becomes started. We decided to go to Barcelona. See the picture on your screen, this is a photo I took in Barcelona. And last year, my wife and I decided to go to Barcelona. They wanted to do it. So want becomes wanted. They wanted to do it. The next sound is the T sound. And here we don't add an extra syllable. Watch becomes watched, watch, watched. So listen again, watched. There's no extra syllable. The T sound just goes on to the end of the verb. Now we use this sound when the verb ends in a voiceless sound. And a voiceless sound is when your vocal cords don't vibrate. It's when they don't vibrate. I laughed really hard. So laugh becomes laughed. You can also say laugh. I laughed really hard. My wife kissed me in front of everyone. My wife kissed me in front of everyone. So kiss becomes kissed. He walked for hours yesterday. He walked for hours yesterday. And the third sound is the D sound. Again, we don't add an extra syllable. Just like the T sound, we don't add an extra syllable. Ban becomes band. So this shows you again that you just add the D to the verb. Ban, band, band. Now we use this when the verb ends in a voice sound. And this is when your vocal cords vibrate, okay? Here is an example. My legs are sore because I played football yesterday. Play becomes played. It cleared up in the afternoon. It cleared up in the afternoon. This is talking about the weather. You can see from the picture, you see clear skies. And we use this phrasal verb, clear up, when we're talking about going from cloudy or rainy to clear skies. It cleared up in the afternoon. He realized what he said was wrong. He realized what he said was wrong. Now, in order to learn how to pronounce these different sounds correctly with the right verbs, it's important to get practice. And it's also important to be aware of this. So hopefully this video has helped you understand the three ways that we can pronounce past simple regular verbs. Now, as I said before, it might be confusing to know the difference between voiceless and voiced sounds. After a while of practicing and listening to these sounds, you'll be able to do this automatically. You'll be able to use the T sound, the D sound, or the ID sound just by having this exposure, by intuitively knowing which one is right, because you will have seen this so many times before. 
So that's why it's so important to practice this. Now there's a link here that will take you to the page with more examples and also more tips about how you can internalize this, how you can use this without thinking about the rules of pronunciation. So check out that link. Thanks for watching this episode and I'll see you next time.